Let's talk about discipline for a moment. Now, when we think about discipline, we think of two ends of a continuum. On one end is reinforcement, and on the other end is punishment. Now, what is reinforcement? Reinforcement implies we're trying to increase an appropriate behavior, whereas punishment, we're trying to decrease an inappropriate behavior. When we consider reinforcement and punishment, there are two kinds of each. There's positive reinforcement and negative reinforcement. Now, positive reinforcement occurs when we give a child, for example, something in response to an appropriate behavior. For instance, a sticker. On the other hand, negative reinforcement is when we remove something the child doesn't like. So if a teacher is standing over a child's desk, making sure the child completes an assignment. So while the child is working, the teacher is standing there, and when the child appropriately completes the assignment, the teacher walks away. So that's positive and negative reinforcement. Now on the other end of the spectrum is punishment, and there is positive and negative punishment. Positive punishment is when we respond with something the child doesn't like because of inappropriate behavior. For instance, uh, a young man on the football team um, misbehaves, the coach has him run five laps. That's positive punishment. Whereas negative punishment, which is what we most often see with parents and teachers, is negative punishment is when you take something away the child wants. So if a child doesn't complete his homework, he doesn't get to go out for recess. So discipline can be looked at from two perspectives, reinforcement and punishment, with reinforcement being positive and negative, punishment being positive and negative. And what we have to understand is the only thing that works is positive reinforcement. Negative reinforcement, positive punishment, negative punishment simply don't change children's behaviors over the long term.